51,000 British troops to the rescue. Let's uh, quickly take back Lundberg. Let's also sail the fleet here to here. Also, I want Copenhagen in my, I want Denmark in my sphere to control the North Sea here, the Adriatic, or uh, what? what is this called? This is just called Ost Sound. Whoa, wow. The DDR or West or East Germany is currently stomping or East Germany is stomping West Germany's forces. So let's do rocket science, which has like manned space stuff. Really, it should just be like the nuke. So he's going to shoot him with his webble. I can leave the UN, which I'm not going to do. For some reason, I guess because it's 1947, the Soviet Union and US have nuclear weapons, but you cannot use them right now in this period. Oh, and wow, that's a first actually. East Germany has acted on its own. Usually the Soviet Union joins these wars uh, with them. Oh wow, torching of the Summer Palace. That's a shame. Parade Day. Rise of the Republic of China. I think they're a dictatorship, though. Aren't they? They're a presidential dictatorship. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, we have troops here. Let's just move them back to London. So, we're, we're acting of the UN's will. They... They keep moving away. So let's try and crush these East German forces and reunite Germany. Apparently the Soviet Union is going to be very passive and they're just going to let their satellite state in East Germany collapse. So I'll take it. Let's just move onwards. Oh, Portuguese need help. We gotta help our ancestral brothers. There we go. Let's beat back these communists. Re restore Germany to its full self instead of it taking forever. Well, and, and uh, taking until 1980 something. Late 80s, early 90s. So. Looks like they are handily losing the war. They only have 20,000 troops in Weimar. I think this war is pretty much over without the help of the Soviet Union. Uh, these guys will not hold on very much longer. Berlin is under siege by the West Germans. And, uh... This weak puppet state has pretty much collapsed without the Union joining in the war. Wow. So, Germany will be united in Punjab. Interesting. Interesting. That's the first time I've seen the Soviets completely abandon their satellite ally. Are they a satellite? No. Well, they are, but that's because they've been completely abandoned. Oh wow, I can... So the war is over. Annexation of East Germany and Germany is united under the NATO sphere of influence. Victory to the British army. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. And I'm going to just completely remove all occupation troops from Germany because or is France allied with anyone? The French have allied to the Soviet Union. Wow. See, this is what I mean with uh, Victoria too. The AI is so <laughs> stupid. Like the U.S. works right, but they they don't like me, even though we just fought in a war together. I think there should be some sort of um, 
uh, some sort of a, an event that pulls all the World War II allies together into like a coalition of sorts. They should just really all be allies because the U.S., uh, the U.K., France, uh, the Republic of China, like these countries really should be, should fall in together as well as uh, Germany here. So do they move their capital back? Do they have an event or is it just Cologne is the capital now? So the, the first flashpoint of the Cold War has ended in 1948. <laughs> Germany was united once again with the help of the British Army. So I'm going to return the army to England. I'll keep this 6,000 men stationed in Hamburg for the time being. Uh, and I'll just return the troops. So I guess the carriers you can you can quite literally carry stuff. I know that's really stupid, but whatever. Anyway, back to. Try and make our make Canada our into our sphere again, so we can do this event. Also, I really wish there was an event to decolonize Africa. Like I haven't seen it. I haven't played very far. I played maybe until like 1950. Well, a lot of people want. Well, a lot of people want the school reform, so I'll do school reform. Let's send everybody to Calcutta. But, um... What the hell was I saying? Oh, I wish there was a way to effectively decolonize Africa in the game, because otherwise the great powers will... They just won't do it on their own. Um, I think there's an event that releases North and South Korea and Japan. I think by 1949, 1950, they're released. But I'm going to hold on to India. I don't know if there's a thing. I'm pretty sure India was free by 1949, 1950 is when India was decolonized. Okay, here we go. Calls for decolonialization. Um, I'm resting our colonies has risen to unprecedented levels with the eyes of the world now upon us. Every action we take to supp suppress our colonial subjects will trigger international repercussions unless we want to become the laughing stock of the civilized world. It would seem like we'll either have to make compromises or grant our colonies independence. Surely it can't be bad. And then you get colonial agitation until the end of time. Um... All pops in the United Kingdom where it is a colonial state game six of militants as you can see immediately immediately all the nationalists across India look at that Wow Wow maybe that's the first time I've seen it work correctly oh man look at that so I'm going to try and hold on to India, but this I'm going to let go. Maybe that. This I physically cannot. This needs to be a state region soon. Go, bureaucrats, go there. We need That needs to be a state. Irish insults, apparently. Ireland doesn't like us. The Irish, apparently the Irish foreign minister slapped our ambassador on the lawn of our embassy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Actually kind of like me. Surprising. 
Ireland is now can be in my slowly be joining my sphere. Uh, intervene eventually. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is to release Israel just along historical bounds, because like Palestine has has cores here too. So, but I'm just going to release Israel. Uh, where is it? Israel. Here it is. I'll just release this nation as a free Israel. And they're free to do whatever I want. I cannot remove them from satellite status, though. So, that's that. I don't think Egypt or Jordan or Syria or Lebanon or Iraq or Saudi Arabia will declare war on me. Mostly because I'm a great power and Egypt is in my sphere and they're a satellite. But I think I'm going to release... The Sudan, just because it'll be less of a pain in the ass for me. So let's just release the Sudan, which becomes all of this apparently. What what holds sway here? No one. Is there like a confederation I can create? The Confederation of Zanzibar. There you go. Release all of it. Wow, that's a huge state. But now I can create a state in Hong Kong and Patagonia, which is the Falkland Islands, Argentina, and Chile went to war, apparently. And Chile sadly defeated them. Wow, we have a communist France. Well, I'll keep trying to get an ally with the French. Wow. This will collapse, no doubt. This this will collapse very quickly. I can already feel it. So, long live the UK. We have core on Kuwait, apparently. I'll probably hand over Kuwait. It's really not strategic enough. But I'm going to start building armies all across India. To suppress. And, uh... I might have to send armies from England to India. The sun will never set. Puerto Rico is afraid of the Dominican Republic. Denmark is our best friend, apparently. Faith cure kills child. Huh. Piano cat on tour. The Sudan expands. Did the Sudan straight up just steal land? Yep, and they became free. And they became a great power somehow. I don't know how that works. So now Gibraltar is a state. So the Sudan has become free. I guess they had an event. That made them out of my colonial grasp. But the confederation is still under my control. I'll, I'll help them as much as I can. But otherwise, I'm not going to bother with them. Probably going to release that. Actually, can I release Yemen? Maybe I'll release Somalia. If I can find it. Somalia. It's like the Kingdom of Somalia or something. The Commonwealth of Somalia. The Temperance League. Uh, I'm going to say no to that, in all honesty. Libertine culture. <laughs> I like that. We're going to say yes to alcohol. Because outlawing liquor is just stupid. It's a tax. We need it. We need the money.
Whoa. Exotic fauna? Yeah. Museum of Natural History. Wow, the Sudan is a great power. That's interesting. Maybe it's because I released them. British Egypt and then British Confederation of Zanzibar. So the Sudan is an absolute monarchy, apparently. Why does Israel not do that? Or Egypt? That's interesting. So let's see how bad it is. Wow. So we definitely have a lot of unrest in India and uh, Burma and such. I wonder, I think it's 1949? Some, somehow, I think. Japan is now, this will reset itself. And American Japan will be uh, just Japan, the... Yeah. Hmm, I wonder. Apparently, the Union likes us quite a bit. Forward. Okay, hold on. What is this? Extra, extra, grand strike, higher wages, socialist newspaper move named Forward has been published in London. Interesting, I'm sure. Go forward with socialism, I suppose. It's completely different from communism. Completely. I like the added uh, Big Ben and the Eiffel Tower. I don't know what those are from, but I like them. Okay, well, let's head... Sweet. So uh, let's go to Lincoln and let's just keep improving relations. Let's keep moving forward. Did it say New Zealand or, A or Australia? Who? Tibet. Man, I was completely off. Man, they. China really wants uh, Tibet to be part of its sphere and I'm not going to let that happen. There will be a free Tibet. Hooray! Canada? Yeah, friendly. Very friendly to Canadians. So I can create this sphere. I can still leave the UN, which is just a stupid... What, what country leaves the United Nations? If, unless you're like North Korea. Or like any of these guys there. Colonial disturbances. Me worry. <laughs> Damn them. All pops in Kashmir up here. Somewhere. I think Kashmir. I guess Kashmir is the entire region. I don't ever remember the province of Kashmir. I could be wrong. And apparently we've been banned from Canada. <laughs> Damn, how will we ever move on without those Canadians? So, I think we've played a year in, and you guys have seen... I want to thank all of you for watching, for at least this part. Uh, you know, we'll move on with this, and uh, see where it goes. So, again, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, 